So this is our first attempt at a travel vlog. And the traveling is around our neighborhood in the golf park. So here we go, attempt one, with my sweetie being the camera woman. Let's go. So we live in a community that we're one of the young people in it, but anyways, it backs up on a preserve. And back here is where I take my grandbaby's alligator hunt. So next weekend when I have the almost three-year-old girl, I'll take her alligator hunt back here. Alligator hunt, by the way, is us driving on a golf cart around the water, hoping we don't actually see a golf, uh, alligator. But. Anywho, okay. See, the water is really high. Can you point it over to the water? My expert camera lady. The water is really high right now because it's the wet season. And in Florida, the wet season means everything floods. And then in the winter, it's the dry season, everything burns down. So that's how we do it in Florida. Everything floods in the summer and burns in the winter. alligators out here because uh, my neighbor saw some the other day so we will keep an eye out for alligators. They also have bears and bobcats out here. Oh look at the little creek. Isn't that cute? Uh, oh I guess it's not really a creek. Anywho. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I had taken the grandson, one, one of the grandsons a couple of years ago fishing with a Spider-Man pole. And lo and behold, he caught something. It was a gator. Four foot. Four foot gator. And he was death rolling. The alligator was death rolling with a Spider-Man bother. So, Tyler was excited. I was freaking out. So, I'm like, nope, we're going. Prep the line. Put him in the golf cart. We went home. I dropped him off, and I freaked out, but yeah, he wanted to know if he could keep the alligator. I'm like, we don't give him no alligator. We're just going home. So yeah, we have once actually gone alligator hunting, but only once. The other day when I rode my bike through here for mm -hmm. that wilderness loop, yes, yeah. that was all flooded. Yeah, um, Scout and Tyler and I went through there one time. Um, when it isn't so ghastly hot, I'll go through there maybe and take a video. Okay, so these bridges, they're wicked rickety, but they're safe because I haven't fallen through yet. So, there's the pretty water. So, it's very quiet here this time of year because most of our neighbors are what we call snowbirds. They vanish right around Easter time and they reappear right around Columbus Day or Native American Day or Indigenous People Day or whatever you want to call it. And then everyone's here by Thanksgiving. Anyway, so the back half of our community is a 55 and over trailer park or manufactured home park, I think is the politically correct term for it. So you can see they've got some flooding here. Flooding's a real issue here. During Hurricane Irma, most all of this was under feet and feet of water. You still see some of the trees are over, bent yeah. over from Irma. Yeah. It got knocked over. Oh, and here's our number one animal of the community. Bunnies. 
hundreds upon hundreds of bunnies. You randomly might see a squirrel, might, but double check, they're probably ceramic. An egg. Barbell. Yeah, softball. Softball. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, me back this thing up for a golf ball. Well, her hair looks like an egg. What can I say? Oh, that's pretty right now. White water wrapping. Yeah. Our version of white water wrapping. Over here is a butterfly garden. Next weekend, when I have the grandbaby, I'll take her in there and do some pictures, put a little video in there, and see how I do being the camera camera person of somebody else. So, and everyone seems to prefer my videos that have grandbabies in it, not me. So they'll probably do better on the viewing. That's well, true. Lucas has got like 26 views. My watching blue dry has four views. Look at all the water. See, it's all flooded. The water's brown, not because it's dirty, but because with the rainstorms, it stirs up the sediment on the bottom. See, there are some of the trees that got knocked over by Irma that haven't. Yeah, away. it might look ugly, but that's actually just letting it do what nature does and let it decompose and settle the way nature wants to, which is kind of nice because that doesn't happen much down here. Usually everything's landscaped and manicured to choking. It's nice to kind of let, see at least a portion of land just be Florida and do Be as natural habitat. Be natural. Natural. So we're coming up to the rope area. I was going to say the helo pack. You know you are surrounded by really old people when your community has its own helo pack. There you go. <laughs> Not almost there. <sighs> See, I like their flowers. Aren't they pretty? So anyways, this area up here is where there's a mama bear. They have ripped off because this is where she normally hangs out. So because the time of the evening she's probably out getting dinner. Mm -hmm. This is a nesting area. So yeah, this is her nesting area. It's illegal to bother the alligators in Florida, especially the nesting ones. But it's also kind of suicidal. Alligators most of the time really won't bother you, but when they're in nesting mode, they'll bother you for breathing at them long. So. I don't see her anywhere. No, but they got pictures of them the other day, so they are yeah. here. But honestly, it's so stinking hot, they're probably underwater as much as they can be. common squirrel you'll see here.
He's very well behaved. It seems like he's always in one spot all the time. I know. Okay, we're gonna go high speed. Listen real intently. You hear it? We're next to the interstate. You can't see the interstate. You can barely hear it. But we're actually, all this woods, we're actually right next to 75. I'm going to point at it. See that wall? That's 75 over there. It's very quiet. You can barely tell. And this is rush hour right now. I don't know what time you're watching this, but here in our world, it's evening rush hour. And then the old people sports of the world. We got horseshoes on the left and bocce ball on the right. Here is the swimming pool and the hot tub. And the tennis court. They have a pickleball league here, which is like half tennis. I don't know. It's like a weird tennis racquetball kind of thing they play. But they do love it. They play it quite often. And then because there's so many old people here, a lot of times when someone dies, their family like puts up a bench and a little memorial area for them. So, like, and since this place is 55 and over, I didn't make, like, oh, see, here's the butterfly garden. So there it is. It's very pretty. We'll do that on Saturday with the baby girl. Well, she's not really a baby girl. She's, like, just three now. Okay, we'll go down here. This is not a little side road. If you look out across the water, you can see the houses over there. And I think you can see the clubhouse too. Yeah, like right over there. See, and there are, all the houses are in a circle. I just want to show you what a circle looks like. In case someone doesn't know what a circle is. This is a circle. So we are in a sterile Florida. And it's in between Fort Myers and Naples. It's like a blip on the interstate. Um, right next to us is Bonita. So there's either Bonita Beach or Estero. We're both really tiny. We're part of Lee County. We don't really have much in Estero. But we got a little mall. And we got a Walmart. And we got an outlet mall. We got to, oh, I missed the turn. Um, we got a Dunkin' Donuts and a Starbucks. Ooh, that's one of the theaters. Yeah, but neither one of them are that good of movie theaters. Right? They're good. I don't watch movies. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm not very good at sitting still long enough to watch a movie. Let's go that way and then. Mm -hmm. The bus can look this way and then. Oops. Look at that flooding, too. Okay, so now we're going to go up to right where the house is on. So 
So the houses are also in a circle, but instead of going to the left, we go to the right. You see a lot of them with hurricane shutters on because their owners have left for the summer. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but in southwest Florida, where Sparrow is, it gets hot. Guys, that's what our circles are like. Right? Front gate. That's a stop sign, in case you don't have them where you are. If you're watching us from Europe, that's miles per hour. Not, um, what do they do? Kilometers. What? Kilometers. Yes, it's not kilometers, <laughs> it's miles. <laughs> Oh, that's a fire hydrant. Okay. <laughs> sure, people don't know what those are if they have them on their houses. They're new pits. Well, I can't say that I don't make sure we get information for y'all. We try to be very informative on Maggie's channel. <laughs> They're just a little overboard. <laughs> oh, wow, it went up. I didn't realize it could sense our golf carts. I really want to go in there. Are you off the drive back there? No. No, we're not allowed to drive back there. No. No. Yeah. I know. But anyways, they're putting the shopping complex over there, so when they do, we'll be able to take our golf cart to Lowe's. And hopefully by then I won't be as nervous about vlogging in public. So then I can like vlog at Lowe's as I shop. But yeah, so they dug all this up. It looks pretty crappy. Can I go? How do I get there from here? Do I have to go over there? Probably. Okay. Much better. Go in. No, I'm not going to do that. I can do this. So let's see, we can name the different trees. So we got palm trees, we got these kind of trees, we got the shrub kind of trees, pine okay, trees. I thought naming trees, you know the actual names, not just the uh, describe them. Well, they're a leaf kind of tree. Okay, that one's a prickly kind of tree. You gotta describe them, the actual name of them, not, well, they look prickly. But they do look prickly. It's not a prickly tree. Could be a prickly tree. There's some cactuses over there. What? This is... Okay. Here's some more of that wall. There's some more palm trees. Tennis courts. And yeah. And this is bocce ball, horseshoes, tennis, pickle, a pool, a our, our pool, the community center, and the house, whatever you want to call it. Go. Got some rain clouds getting ready to come in. And every day in Florida in the summer it rains. Just automatically assume it's going to rain. Just prepare for it. Okay, sharp left turn. Hold on. Woo! Okay, so this is. All of that. <laughs> yes, we actually have parking lot spots uh, just for the golf cart. See? Right there. See them? They're all for the golf cart. Okay. Because we have a mean bingo games on Thursday night. They come from all four corners of the community to play bingo on Thursday night. Get out of the house. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, our neighbors know there's something wrong with us. <laughs> I had one walking by earlier when I was sanding some wood talking to the camera, walking by with their dog and just looking at me like, oh my god. This is why you get nasty emails. This is why I get nasty emails. Okay, we're home. So let's flip it around the other way. I don't know how to do that. So okay, so I said I can. I don't know how to flip it around while it's still filming. So nice to see everybody. I'll edit y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.